Hello, my name's Craig Barton, and welcome to a video showing you how you can create a quiz on my Diagnostic Questions website. So, the first thing you'll need to do is be logged in, and once you're logged in, if you go to the Questions tab there, that's going to allow us to select our questions for our quiz. Now, you can actually search for individual subjects or you can hone down using the taxonomy. So I'm going to go for math straight away here and that will allow me to search the number algebra and so on. Or I can do the clever search. So I'm going to, I fancy doing a quiz on angles. So let's go for angles here and this will filter out all the angles questions. Now, this is one I've got in mind for my year 11s who are doing revision at the moment. So yeah, let's give them a nice little circle theorems one. Now notice all I did there was simply click on add to instant quiz. Um, yeah, what about that one? Some kind of exterior angle question. That's nice. Um, and then we've got one, yeah, parallel lines. That'll be nice. And then let's chuck another circle theorems one into the mix there. You can do as many or as few as you want. And then you'll notice here that they've all been added into your instant quiz basket. So if we click onto the instant quiz page, we'll here get a preview of all the questions. And we can jiggle the order about a bit here. If we want to open up with a different question, we can just move that one up and that'll sit up there. And when you've got it looking how you like it, all you need to do is give it a name. So I'm just going to call this a test quiz for year 11s. And when you've got it there, all you need to do, <coughs> excuse me, is click on this plus thing and that will create a new quiz. When you click on it, it's there. That's all you need to do. And um, if you want to have a look at your quiz, just click into it there and there is your quiz. Uh, you can then try it yourself if you want. Or, and this is an important feature, you can publish it. Now, if you don't publish it, you can use it with classes that you're assigned to, so you can set it to your students. If you do choose to publish it, that means that you can share it with colleagues um, in your school, or you can choose to have the whole world have access to your quiz. So that's completely your decision. Um, if I just show you on the quizzes page, there's um, all the quizzes that will go on here are ones that either you've created yourselves or quizzes that are publicly available. So of course, you don't have to create a quiz yourself, you can use ones that have uh, already been made, or you can create quizzes to your heart's content. Um, if you want to learn how to assign a quiz and then analyze the data, because that's the next kind of logical thing, simply watch the next series in this video, either via the blog or go to the learn how to video section. Take care and bye for now.